This is the Eagle Street number two grade crossing located on the NS Lake Erie District in Geneva, Ohio. Here we have two Satran signals, each with incandescent lights and one E bell. There's nobody looking south. Get a look here at the northern signal. Up top, we got a GSE bell. Not sure if this is type two or type three. Looks kind of new, so it might be type three. Got 12 by 20 inch Satran incandescence. Here's the dot tag, dot number is 472009N. Got a single sided Satran base. Got a 2000s era Satran gate mechanism. Side bead lights with a Satran junction box. Back view of the lights. This gate has the older striping with 4 inch NEG incandescence. Here's the back view of the northern signal. Great here is all asphalt, surprisingly. I'm not sure why there's no rubber in it. Here's the relay bungalow in the northeast quadrant. Track you facing west towards Perry, Painesville, and Cleveland. And track you facing east towards Ashtabula, Conneaut, Erie, and eventually Buffalo, New York. These signals were installed sometime in the uh, probably mid, early to mid 2000s. And I'm guessing they probably replaced like gateless signals or maybe old gated ones. No idea what they had, but very typical setup for NS of that time period. And even still up today, pretty much. The appearance of NS signals has not changed much over the last few decades, other than getting like LEDs and even some NS installs, they still use incandescents, like the new one by Porter, Indiana, with the Satran, the Siemens at, uh, S80s. Those, for some reason, still have incandescents. No clue why, but weird. Here's nobody not looking north. Get a look here at the southern signal. Got more 12 by 20 inch Satran incandescents. Here's the dot tag again. You can see the mark where the old white tag used to be. Got another single sided Satran base. Side view lights with another Satran junction box. We got another 2000s era Satran gate mechanism. Back view of the main lights. This gate has mostly newer striping with a little bit of upside down older striping on the end and has four inch Rico gate lights. Not sure if they're incandescent or LED. I'm guessing incandescent. Gotta be careful with that gap there. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be rubber in there, but for some reason that NS took it out. And there's a back view of the southern signal. Now this has been the Eagle Street number two grade crossing.